Well, Marquette's a great team, and we saw that today. I thought uh, I thought we played a, a pretty good match overall, um, pretty clean more than anything. Um, I thought these two ladies beside me really did a great job of stepping up as senior leaders in big in a big match. You know, they carried a lot of load, um, but you know, this is a big match not just because Marquette's a great team and it'll be a great resume builder, but this is a, a big match as we work toward a goal of, of trying to win conference. And so now we've got you know lots of matches before we'll face them again that we've got to be clean and continue to get better because I know they're going to get better. So I didn't think we contained Barber as much as I'd hoped we would. You know, she is a special player, got a lot of kills. Um, I guess we now had her under 300. She was hitting about 500 for a while. Um, but uh, but lots of good things overall. I thought we I thought we served pretty well. I thought we blocked overall uh, decently, and I thought we hustled. So those are all positives. It's always something in the back of our heads that they were chosen first. But today it was more about us and just focusing on, on our game. Um, they are a really good team, and just knowing that they're ranked 21 and we're 10, like we wanted to keep our ranking and um, make sure that we kept us rolling. So I don't know. I think every game is very important. I agree. It's always probably in the back of our heads, but um, we really wanted this game today, just like we want every single other game that we have in conference. So I think they're all really important. I mean, it's something we scout right away is um, how they set up against us in system and out of system. And along with that, we're talking about it as the plays are going on. I'm always talking to Brittany Witt or Grace Nelson about, hey, like, we look when I'm hitting, like, where's where's my open spot for tips if I need it? But um, we, were, we really were trying to swing away today. About, well, however many tips I had, all of those points belong to Brittany Witt, all of those kills. Uh, she does a great job of telling me what's open, and she's always right behind me really loud and always helpful. So she deserves some more kills on here. <laughs> I guess in terms of the change of pace shots, I think, you know, if you're going, I guess, with a ball shot or with a line or, you know, depends on the velocity to all that, do you, how do you, I guess, take Marquette to think you're doing something? And I guess in a, in a set two as an example, um, it looked like Marquette's entire defense thought you were going line. to, I guess, tricking the defense into thinking you're doing one thing and then being able to counter it in an air, I guess. Yeah, I mean, the point is to always go up and look the same so that you could really go anywhere and they think you could go anywhere. But um, it really has to do with the set. Um, when Madden was put up, put, putting up a good ball for me um, or anyone, if it's out of system, it makes it a lot easier to make those shots. Okay. Yeah. At what, what point did you, I'm sure you're always sort of like, how am I going to handle the, the moment? When, when did you feel comfortable about that? Oh, I, you know, everyone will say, are you ready before a match? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> not, we've done our job to a degree. Um, I would say this team has proven that they are going to, I don't, you know, they, they haven't, well, I guess there's one match the first weekend that I kind of thought they laid an egg. But other than that, they have performed every time they've stepped on the court. We haven't won every match, but they've come out and and played hard. So um, I didn't I didn't question whether we would come out and be focused and be ready to go. You know, again, I think we've got great leadership. They, they'll. And the other thing that I think the leadership will do a good job, and they know. You know, Taryn's talked about this a fair amount that every match is so important, and they. I think they all get it. You know, so um, and that's where leadership is so huge to. 
to not take a match for granted. But these are the easy ones to get up for. It's a great team. I mean, they're definitely our conference rival. Um, we know they want to beat us just as we want to beat them. It's it's very it's a very healthy good thing. Um, but you know, I I knew they'd show up. I didn't know if we'd win, but I knew they'd show up. I knew it would. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were clean. I, I think Marquette gave us a couple points when I thought they had some opportunities to get the momentum and something, some sort of mishap would happen on their point, part. Um, like we had an overpass that they had a miscommunication that, you know, should have been an easy point. I think it would have been two points in a row for them. That That's a momentum builder or a momentum killer. You know, so those are things that we've got to make sure we don't give those teams that opportunity. But um, I did I did think we did a great job responding. I mean, particularly in that first game to side out at 88%. I mean, that's <laughs> crazy numbers, crazy numbers. Yeah, you know, um, I hadn't thought about it as, as a big – I mean, I we were actually telling our blockers to steal low, so the big part wasn't much of an issue in my mind. It's It was more of, um, you know, getting them out of system. And I think Barber was up at that point, if I recall. Mm -hmm. You know, I was trying to get her – you know, you knew the ball was going there of, you know, trying to, you know uh, – dig her and then and then in those situations you got to put the ball down when you get the opportunity because you know if that you don't put it down it's going back to her so um i thought the big part of that run was annika getting him out of system that ace was big and um disrupting him a little bit from the service line i think uh yeah jayla had 20 attacks that ties her season high at almost nebraska what, i mean that to go to a true freshman like that in two really really big matches um she doesn't seem like Gives you the confidence, or I guess, what do you see in her that gives you the confidence that um, that Madeline can set her, that Megan can set her, and that everybody on the court can kind of rely on her to put it down if it goes up to her? Well, one of the things that we've focused on is we have to have more offensive parity. You know, we cannot be a three hitter show, you know, with Jaylee and Taryn and Megan, you know. so. Uh, we want more balls to go to the right side and to um, that other middle position. And so that's been a priority of things that we've been working on. And I hope that you're going to continue to see that. Well, to a degree, I think that's a good question for them. I mean, we definitely give them areas of the court in cert certain situations that we think they can attack. But you, I think you can overanalyze that stuff to a degree when you've got great players. They should just go up and be physical. I mean, you know, we didn't want the libero to get overly involved, so we'll give them that information. So we'll give them some information, but then y you want them to play because if you, get, you start to be too cute, you know, they, they're going to dig those balls. So they've got to go up and swing aggressively and, and make things happen. Um, you know, uh, so, so it's, I think, that balance of doing a little bit of giving them where to go, but also freeing them up that they can just go. Yeah, again, offensive parity, and we knew Marquette is a team that release out. I mean, we told them on the very first points, they're releasing out. And so uh, we wanted to create ways. It's, it's not so much that, that we didn't want the ball to go the outside, but we want to make that middle hesitate before she releases to the outside. So if we establish either the back row or the nine or, you know, things along those lines, hopefully that blocker is going to have to – to make a decision. I think that's one of Marquette's strengths with running the 6-2 is we couldn't just 
like last year it was like release out to Barber. We knew where the ball was going because they were running a 5-1. This year we couldn't tell our players to do that. You know, if it's a perfect pass, they really could go any place. So that makes it a little bit more challenging. Well, I think I think the reason they didn't have a lot of blocks probably was because I thought our hitters did a really nice job of, you know, they were aware where their big blocks were. They were aware who they should be attacking. I think they did a really good job of being cognizant of, you know, is the six foot kid or the six six kid in front of me, and I got to make a decision. Who am I going to go after? And um, and that's that's just being a smart player. <laughs> Giant years, people in front yeah, of you. Exactly. <laughs> oh. but she was, I mean, your numbers back up what she says in terms of how efficient you are against the bigger block in front of you. Why, do you know why that is? Or is it, are you something you're... This is what I'm convinced of. I can actually see them and see their arms. Um, I don't know. Sometimes just when I'm like walking, my eye level is up here, and so I can't necessarily see people short like. <laughs> Shorter normal people, size. yes, sure. normal size, size people. people. <laughs> and I think it's the same when I'm hitting, but I don't know. That's just what I think. I could be just be in, I don't know. So not every team's going to put their shortest block up against you. That's, that was the takeaway on this. <laughs> 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 yeah, just.